Hello, Hi. my name's Dr. Susie. I'm one of the dentists here. Um, can I just confirm your name and date of birth? So my name is Dawn Jackson. My date of birth is 3-9-67. Lovely, thank you. And um, what's brought you here today? Um, well, I'm really concerned because I've got a really, really um, sort of sore, sore tooth down here on the left-hand side. Um, I'm not sure if it needs treatment or not, but um, I just wanted to speak to you about possible options to have treatment on it, um, given my previous history as well, because I've been looking at um, some information online. I know you shouldn't sort of doctor Google, but I, I can't help it. And um, there's quite a few issues that I'm concerned about. So because of my past history as well, medical history, so. Okay, lovely. So maybe if we just start with your medical history. Okay. Um, it's a, are you generally fit and well? Um, well, I think so, yes, but I have got a history of um, high blood pressure. So about five years ago, my doctor diagnosed me with high blood pressure, but I'm on medication, um, it's fine, I think it's stable, so th there's no sort of ongoing issues with that. Um, the doctor seems to be quite happy with me, so. Um, I've also ha actually got a history of uh, high cholesterol as well. Yep. Um, so I don't know if that's would you know, impact on any possible treatment. Um, I'm actually on statins for that. Um, and I have made some sort of lifestyle sort of changes, you know, cut down on the cheese and cake, but um, but that, that, that appears to be stable as well. Okay. So, yeah. Well, it sounds like you're making some really positive changes to manage those health conditions. Yeah. Um, are there any other health conditions? Um, do you take any other medicines, any inhalers, anything like that? No, I don't take any inhalers, but uh, um, I do have allergies. I've got a history of allergies as well. I'm actually allergic to penicillin. Okay. Um, so I'm really concerned that if you know I'm given any antibiotics, I think I might have might need antibiotics given the treatment uh, that I may have to have. Um, but I've had sort of allergic reactions in the past, so I can't have anything, any medication in that sort of. Um, group of antibiotics, so that's, that's what I'm really worried about. Yeah, okay. So. And you mentioned that you'd been reading online and you had some particular concerns relevant to those health issues. Yes. Um, generally, um, if we have a patient who has high blood pressure and or high cholesterol, but who's stable on medications, we wouldn't normally need to put any other um, safeguards in place beyond right. what we would normally do for any sort of dental treatment. Okay. Because we're all sort of, we've got um, sort of um, first aid training yeah. um, and we would know how to manage in, in case anything went wrong, but we would sort of treat you as any other patient, but you mentioned that um, you'd done some reading that had made you concerned. Well, I had, yeah, because um, I wasn't sure. I mean, I've got a pretty healthy lifestyle, yeah. I think. I don't really drink, you know, yeah. I, I only, you know, so drink socially, maybe one glass of wine a week. Um, smoking, I, I did used to smoke, um, but that's 10 years ago now. So, yeah. you know, I'd, I'd consider myself as quite a good level of level of um, fitness, etc. Um, but yeah, when I was Googling it, there was something called IE um, that did concern me. And I just, I just think given everything that's happened in the past that perhaps it would be a good idea if I had antibiotics, you know, given you know, the potential operation I might have to have because it's so sore. Yeah. I think with a very sore tooth, what we're probably looking at is either a filling, potentially a deep filling like a root canal treatment, okay. or even potentially an extraction. Yeah. Um, and if we consider those sort of most likely treatments uh, alongside infective endocarditis, yeah. i.e., um, there are some, we're, we're actually very fortunate that there are some very clear guidelines on this, the NICE guidelines, the okay. sort of Department of Health, yeah, um, sure. the sort of the very strong evidence behind them. Yeah. And what they suggest is that for routine dental procedures, we don't need um, to give any antibiotic, what we call prophylaxis, sort of antibiotic cover. 
Okay. Now, their guidelines and there are some people who are more at risk and some procedures which are, are more risky. Right. So, for instance, the things that we'd need to exclude would be things like whether you've had infective endocarditis before. Have you ever had infective endocarditis no, before? No. Have you ever had rheumatic heart disease before? Do you have a history of rheumatic fever? No. Perhaps? No. no, no. Have you ever had any operations on your heart? No, I haven't. No, so valve replacements and those no, sorts of... Nothing like no, that, nothing no, nothing like that. No. And <clears throat> do you have any heart conditions that started as a child, um, what we call congenital heart disease? No, nothing like that, no. no. Um, so those are, the, those are the sort of health conditions and health history where we'd maybe consider antibiotics oh, okay. um, and antibiotic cover. But even then, even for sort of more high risk dental procedures such as extractions, you know, which are quite invasive yeah. or sort of deep cleans of the gums or implant placement, even then the guidelines suggest that we don't need to give any, any antibiotic cover. Okay. The added complication for you, even if you did need it, would be your penicillin penicillin allergy. Yes. Um, because it, a, a penicillin drug is the first line antibiotic. Right. Now, there are also antibiotics for those who are allergic yeah. to penicillins, but who need antibiotic cover. So that's not what would mean that you wouldn't get the cover. Okay. It would be, it's, it's, just, it's mainly that the the conditions that the guidelines um, suggest would need to consider antibiotic cover are not conditions which affect you. Okay. Um, and um, the even if we were to do a, a complex sort of invasive um, dental procedure. Yeah. Um, does that all sort of make sense? Yeah, so that's, that's, that's yeah. reassuring. Yeah. Um, Based on what you've said, yeah, as I say, I was just concerned about my history of allergic reactions, but that, that that's if I don't, you know, need sort of any antibiotics, then yeah, I understand that. No, appreciate you've explained it all. Good, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I don't think that we certainly won't need to give you any sort of penicillins. You know, after dental treatment, you know, it's difficult to say without looking at your mouth immediately whether there's any sort of active infection in there. Right. But generally with teeth, the best treatment is to manage the tooth right. rather than giving antibiotics. Okay. Um, so it's not, hopefully it's not something that we need to consider. I won't be giving, I certainly won't be giving you any penicillin drugs. Oh, good. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I think the things that we need to consider with your with your sort of high blood pressure history yeah. are things like trying to keep you calm and relaxed mm. and help you feel as reassured as we can. So, you know, just for you to know that, that there's open communication between us, you can ask anything, okay. we can stop at any time, yeah. irrespective of what treatment you're having. Um, you know, I want you to feel as confident and reassured as you can because that will help to relax you and that will help to manage your blood pressure. Yes. Because for anybody, dental treatment can be quite, make you feel quite anxious. Oh, I am very anxious about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and, um, um, and, you know, potentially sort of having the appointment earlier on in the day you know, whenever you think is going to be yeah. best for you. That would be good, yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to ask me about this? No, I don't think so. I think that's covered everything. Yeah, I'm just obviously very anxious about it because yeah. it's really, really sore. Yeah. Um, but no, I was, the main concern was just what I'd looked at, at on, on the yeah. internet and um, I just raised my concerns um, around the antibiotics. You know, I thought I may need some and obviously my concerns with the allergies, etc. Um, but no, the, thank you for that. So I think the main thing that we need to do is have a look and get the ball rolling on some treatments. Okay. Um, you know, get you out of immediate pain today if we can. Yeah. Um, now that we have 
sort of established that we don't need to sort of take any extra measures sure um and if you know the appointment needs a bit longer and you need to come back another day just making sure that you're on top of your pain relief as you normally would for a headache or anything else yes you know parasitic yeah that's what i yeah. yeah um and um I can send you a link to the guidance as well if that would also help to give you some reassurance. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that'd reassure me. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, thanks very Thank much. Thank you very much.